Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my latest video on the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. Yes, I've got these two bad boys in house, and I've got to say, I'm pretty excited to see what they have to offer. Now, uh, you've seen a few videos out there, and this is not going to be a full unboxing or anything. I just want to show you some of the contents in the packaging because we've got a brand new box, and it is pretty bare bone. Well, we've got our devices in there, first off, uh, and what else do we have inside the box? We also have uh, lightning to USB cable and then a SIM removal tool and sticker. That's pretty much it. There's no charger, no headphones, none of that. So you've got to buy that separately if you want to. But let's focus on what we care about for this video. So both devices come in at 6.1 inches. They're about the same size, feel the same in terms of weight. So when you hold them in your hands, they kind of feel similar, come in various colors. Sadly, I didn't get the blue, but you know, that, that's a pretty nice color scheme. Now, the iPhone 12 has a dual camera setup at the back, while the 12 Pro has a triple camera setup at the back, of course, with the time of flight lighter. So we've got that for better photos. And we will have videos for you on, of course, some low light photography, which we can't wait to see. But we wanna look at how well the speakers sound. So in terms of speaker test, we've got stereo speakers on this bad boy, and we'll be checking out both speakers on the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, but we also will be adding the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as something as a point of reference. We'll listen to them, we'll see of course some DB readings, and then we'll give our final thoughts. So without wasting any more time, let's start listening. Okay, so when it comes to audio and sound, um, first of all, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro are much louder in terms of the dB readings, about 97 uh, for the 12 Pro and 95 for the iPhone 12, which is pretty nice. While the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra came in at 85, again, this is unscientific, just to remind you guys, so this is not something that it should take as pure fact, but from what we set up, that's what we got. Now, how well did they sound? I thought they all sounded really good and clear. Now, I will say this though, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro have a much narrower range. You can hear it. Uh, everything sounds a little bit clouded. Maybe there's more bass on to it, more or less, while the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra had more separation. So I'll put it this way. The 12 and 12 Pro, uh, there was fewer separation, separation between the, the lows and the highs, so I couldn't get those highs as much, but there's a lot of bass width, if you will. While the, I, while the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra had greater separation with the lows, mids, and highs, so I could hear more of those decibel changes here. But I'd like to know, which do you like in terms of audio preference, which sounded better for you? Was it the iPhone 12? or was it the iPhone 12 Pro, uh, either one of these two, or was it even the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Let me know your thoughts on that. Now, I know you guys are starving for a gaming video. It's coming up. I'm doing something really in-depth and intricate, so you, you will take a look and see. Just stay tuned for that. We'll have that coming up for you shortly. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. If we want to see anything specific on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.